let's get this out of the way. I look fantastic. This baseball team, however, Mariners lose three to two. They fall to 63 and 58 on the season. And they've lost the first two games of the three game series against the Detroit Tigers. Guaranteeing a series loss for the second time against Detroit. The best you can do against Detroit is two and four. Scoring plays, Jorge Polanco singles to left to score Dylan Moore in the fifth. Julio Rodriguez singles to left to score Victor Robles. So it's 2-0 in the middle of the eighth. It's not 2 nothing at the end of the eighth, though, because Kerry Carpenter homers to right to score Matt Veerling off of Jimmy Garcia 2-2. And then the 10th inning, Akil Badu doubles off Colin Snyder to make it 3-2. Mariners lose. Ha! I mean, there's there's one massive positive today. Brian Wu is just awesome. So, so good. Was so good tonight. And I probably would have given him another inning. And who knows what happens if you give him that other inning. It's just the reality of the situation. They're, they're not going to let this guy throw 100 pitches. That's just not going to happen. He's gotten somewhat close. But nope. Nope, that's their script. We'll talk about it in the negative. But Brian Wu's fantastic. And look, if this team somehow makes the postseason, I think you got to talk about Brian Wu starting one of those games. Luis Castillo starting game one for me. Logan Gilbert starting game two. Right now, right now, I think Brian Wu might start game three for me. I'd also love to have him as a multi-inning reliever too, you know. And as bad as George Kirby was, and oh boy, I know we didn't talk about it because I didn't have it in me yesterday. As, as bad as George Kirby was, I still have a lot of faith in George Kirby. I think we all do. I think we all do. But we all have faith in Brian Wu, I think, right now, too. Sensational start. Deserved so much better than this crap shack of an offense and a bad bullpen today, too. Uh, positives offensively. Julio got a couple of hits, drove in the run. Seemed like a massive run at the time. It kind of was. Without it, the Mariners don't get to play in extra innings. We'll talk about the negative, too. Jorge Polanco got on a couple of times and drove in a run. I think those are the... Oh, Big Dumper drew a couple of walks. By the way, I know. It's it's Raleigh. I'm trying. It's hard for me. It just naturally comes out rally. That's why some people can't do Kelnick or Toronto. They do Toronto or Kelnick. It's just a weird thing for me. Just like I struggle with Andres Munoz. I'm not perfect. I have perfect bone structure right now. And I just look so good with this shaved head and the mustache that it's just, it's almost distracting. But I'm not perfect. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I do have flaws. You know, has no flaws. Simply Seattle. They provide the very best in Seattle sports gear. Great stuff for the Mariners, of course. But you can use code MOLLYWOP15, M-O-L-L-Y-W-H-O-P-1-5, and it takes 15% off any item you order. Be it the Seahawks, the Kraken, the Storm, the Sounders, the Huskies, the Cougars, the Mariners, of course. It'll take 15% off. It's a great deal from great people. M-O-L-L-Y-W-H-O-P-1-5. And that's www.simplyseattle.com. There's a link in the description to make it nice and easy for you. You know who doesn't make it nice and easy for me? The Seattle freaking Mariners. What a waste of a starting pitching performance. And yeah, your, your first instincts might be to blame the bullpen today. And, that, and that's okay. They gave up three runs in two innings. But I go back to a team that scored two runs off of, look at the pitchers they faced today. Okay? You faced... Bo Brisky, who I always want to call Bill Brasky. If you're a Saturday Night Live fan, you understand it. Brian Sammons, Will Vest, Shelby Miller, Jason Foley, and Tyler Holton. You scored two runs off of that. You have scored three runs in total off of the Detroit Tigers. Oh, forgive getting shut down by Tariq Skubal. Dude's awesome. I do not forgive getting two runs off of this pitching staff. And oh boy, this offense has just looked dreadful over these two games dreadful 
And it's so disappointing considering how well they played against the Mets. So disappointing. The Mitch Haniger was awful. And Josh Rojas. I mean, look, I, I know he's frustrated too. You saw he got a middle, middle pitch. He popped it up and he, he certainly, there was more hard contact with the ground with his bat than there was on that pitch. And I look, I really like Josh Rojas's defense and appreciate the great start he has, but he's been an anemic offensive player now for a while. Anemic. And of course, one of the few guys who had a good day at the plate today, Julio, leaves with a pinch runner. And we'll see if he's available. Uh, this is not hindsight. This is... Boy, I hope they didn't call him up too early. And the fact that he didn't play in a assignment still baffles me. Now, I don't know if that affects him getting hurt or not. Probably not, right? But... You can't help but wonder. At least he's made hard contact. And hey, he even made hard contact in the five strikeout game. It's just all foul. Got to straighten it out, bud. But he was one of the very few offensive players who was successful today. Oh, and Victor Robles. That was rough. That was rough. And he's really come down to earth. Now, thankfully, he's helped them defensively quite a bit. But. And then the bullpen today. Look, Jimmy Garcia was a fantastic audition. Addition? Audition? No. Addition. Words are tough. Um, this is two times now that he's failed pretty badly. That pitch he threw to Kerry Carpenter, you can't throw a worse two-strike pitch. 96 middle-middle. You might as well just throw the ball over the fence. Awful. Awful job by him. We expect more. They need more. To waste that performance from Wu is just... And then Colin Snyder wasn't good today either. He issues the walk. He gives up a long double to Akil Badu. And Akil Badu, in the year of our Lord, 2024 is hitting 143, 228, 314. It can't happen. I've been the biggest Colin Snyder fan in the world, and is he, was he due to give up runs? Of course. I'm not asking him to be perfect. But this is a daily show. And when you do a daily show, you got to talk about when, even when the bad guys do good, you got to give them credit, and vice versa. When the elite players or the guys who have been sensational for you screw up you got to bring it up goodness gracious this is just such a bad series loss and anybody who talks to me about momentum yeah that's not a thing you win four straight you dominate the New York Mets dominate for three games. You come out and play like this. Momentum is only as good as your next day's starter. Or even if your starter is good. If you have a crap shack of an offense. I've said crap shack twice I think now. Sorry. Try to be a little more creative. And, and I'm, I'm just going to say it. I, it's going to get me in trouble. I guarantee you it's going to get me in trouble. I'm so sick. So sick of listening to the broadcast after the game try to sell me on the positives. It's so annoying. I have nothing against any of those people. And I don't expect them to just come out and just slam the team either. I expect some sort of objective journalism. Some. I'm not asking you to crap on this team. I'm asking you to be honest, and they are not honest. 
the broadcast team for the Seattle Mariners is not honest. And I know that's a direct thing from, well, you know. But it's disgusting. And it's embarrassing. And it's not just a Seattle Mariner problem. But it's worse for Seattle than the overwhelming majority. Guys, I I have to watch baseball for a living. Have to. It they they are worse than everybody else, with a couple of exceptions, maybe in some other places. But nobody's nobody's way worse. And there are a lot that are way better, that are honest about what just happened. The sugar coating is just disgusting. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Don't tell me about a gold star for relievers who give up RBI doubles to Akil Badu. It doesn't matter how good he's been. You can say, hey, look, he was due to give up runs. That's fine. Immediately given a gold star and just only talking about Brian Wu. Come on. Be honest. That's one of the reasons I started this show. I get nowhere close to the viewership that they do. On my good days, I get 300 to 500 views right now. On my bad days, it's like 150 to 200, usually after a loss. This one will probably get around 150, 200. Maybe, I'll guess 180, something along those lines, unless it gets retweeted by someone with a lot of followers. Anyway, one of the reasons I started this was I was just sick of the lack of objectivity. I will give you the good when it's good, and I will give you the bad when it's bad. And I don't mean to toot my horn with this. I think that's a pretty obvious thing that a decent human being should do. I wish they did. And I know I'm going to get yelled at by somebody for this. But I don't care anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of words that I'm not allowed to say. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, please comment how much you like the hair and the mustache. Such a bummer. Tomorrow, 1035, I think, and it's Castillo against, who knows, probably a bullpen game. I'm looking now, just, yeah. No, tomorrow's not Castillo. Tomorrow is Miller against Fado, and Fado will give away to a long reliever. It's just not good enough. Oh, by the way, Astros win. It's two and a half games. 